How do you feel when you see an older guy with a way younger girl? I think sugar daddy or father complex. Well, okay. And that's not, not necessarily true because when I was 22, I dated a man that was 38. And men mature slower than women, so sometimes we have to find somebody older to have something in common interest with, you know? Okay, well... <laughs> Ladies, our hey. next guest has written a book that teaches men how to pursue and get women much younger than they are. Let's welcome the author of How to Date Young Women for Men Over 35, R. Don Steele. R. Don, good to see you, buddy. How you doing, bro? Please have a seat. Now, R. Don, why are you teaching uh, older men to pursue younger women? What's the matter with the ladies of, of their own age there? A uh, lady my own age would be 62. That's way too old for me. Whoa. Why, why is why, that way why too old for you? And you're not too old for her. Well, my wife is uh, 28. She's right there. I'm 62. Oh, with well, a woman that's 30 years younger than you. 34 years 34 younger. 34 years younger. Well, we both uh, we both like the Raiders. Both like the Raiders. Yes. Well, okay, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a problem right there. <laughs> no, but no, but seriously, we I mean, enjoy, no, we enjoy sex. Uh, what I know about sex. Uh, I was able to share with her. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Right, 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 let's right, get, let's get to the important stuff first. Yes, go ahead, Arvin. <laughs> older men and younger women, it's a, it's a much more exciting sexual encounter because the older man lasts a lot longer. Let's start with that. And he takes a little longer. And a young woman enjoys learning some new things. And her excitement and pleasure make him glad to be alive, teach him how to be young again. And it's just a great symbiosis. And by the time all that's said and done, then it's a whole another episode. You of got something lots to that. talk about together. But, now, like, don't you, but Ardon, don't you think you're teaching these men to, to kind of take advantage of these younger women? Do you feel a sense of guilt about that? Oh at all? God, no! I, I have a whole chapter on ethics, which is the fourth chapter in my book, and I want men to understand that there's a power difference here, and it's up to you to be an ethical man, be a stand-up guy, no lying, no manipulating, no be yourself. Watering. You're, no, she. Let me explain something very important. The woman who's interested in an older man, only about 10% of the population, very rare, but they are wonderful. But she has to come to you. You okay. can't go get her. All right, Ardon, you're talking to, to the men out there. What are some of the tips that you, that you give to these men on how to pursue and meet these younger women? Never go where she's looking to meet Mr. Wright. You will not show up on her radar. Where's that? Bars, clubs. Young women think Mr. Wright's in a bar. It takes him about 10 years for them to figure out he ain't in there. Do you okay. think your Mr. Wright's in a bar? I've got my Mr. Wright. I didn't find him in a bar. Okay. Oh, okay. What, do you, what do you tell a guy to snare a younger woman? Well, we don't snare younger women. The important thing is you have to be where she has a chance to let you know she's interested in you. And the best place to do that is at a wedding reception because... They're all celebrating because a sister scored a touchdown. <laughs> and they're drinking champagne. You don't stick out like a sore thumb because people of all ages are there. And you can dance with her. And you're one of the few guys that can dance because young guys don't dance. They're too tough, you know. But you can go out there and dance with her and you make a big impression. The other young women are interested in you and they will let you know. So, you so get you're not snaring them. Mm -hmm. They're snaring And you catch you. them at that vulnerable state when they've had a few cocktails and they see the whole wedding right, thing and all that. Is right. that what you're saying, Ardon? I'm saying that if she has a little bit of champagne, the tapes that mother and father, they only want one thing, disappear. Okay, okay. okay. Now, now, what about what happens when your wife turns 35, let's say? Are you going to trade her in? I mean, is she, she now has, getting too old for she you? She has no expiration date on her. Yeah. What usually happens... Very nice. Well, that's nice. <laughs> well, what usually happens, guys, I'm talking to the guys out there now, is if you follow the tips in this book, you're going to have what happened to me happen to you several times. I got my heart broken, okay? Because the young woman thinks she can make it last forever. She tells you she loves you, and it goes on for a couple of years, and then somewhere in the back of her head goes this, ding, got to get married, pick a fence, have a baby, goodbye. Okay. You know, I think oh, we, we have, have some, some questions, questions in the audience here. Stand up. Oh, where's our first question? Who's the question? Right here. Okay. Okay. Stand up. I think that it could quite possibly be that older men may not have the kind of control over their life that they're wanting, so therefore they go and find a younger woman that they can control. I've, I've actually had an experience like that before. What do you think about that? I think it's possible. I think uh, some people that don't have control want to control other people. Most of them are usually wearing a dark blue uniform that says LAPD right here. <laughs> oh, okay. There's another question over Dorian. Okay. <laughs> Um, I have been dating a guy off and on, and he's 24, and we're about six, five years apart, whatever.
But it's not about the age. It's about the personality. It doesn't matter how you look. It matters who the person is on the inside. I agree. And that's agree what you that. should be looking at, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, Don, I'll tell you what. Thank you, and God bless you for you know coming on the show oh, and giving us your views and everything. We want to good, wish you good luck with the book, and we'll be right back. Okay, let's see.